Hi, hi, how are you? How are you today? Hi, teacher, fine, you? Hi, I'm cold. <laughs> Believe it or not, tengo frío. Está haciendo frío en su casa. No me van a decir que... Un ladito nada más. ¿Verdad? Ah, vaya, pues sí. Pues sí, yo sí, no me vayan a decir, no, teacher, aquí está haciendo un gran calor. <risa> no, teacher, aquí está haciendo un gran calor. ¿Really, Carla? <risa> San Miguel. Ah, ok, ya, yeah. of course, of course, San Miguel. It's, it's, we know. Always hot. Yeah, we know San Miguel is very hot. No, here is cold. Mire, pues. Y estoy, con oh. mi... y estoy con mi bufanda, pero yo tengo frío. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little cold. But it's better. Cold is better than hot, right? Sí. Definitely. Vamos a ver cuánto sabemos. Oh. Ya podemos pasar a tiendas. Let's see. Si hasta mi gatita andaba buscando que la cobijaran porque tenía frío. <ríe> Allá estuvo cobijada en mi cama, cobijada y la co frío. Y la otra anda con ropa. A los gatos les gusta el calor. Sí, le gusta el calor, es cierto. Porque ahí buscando la cobija, tiene frío la señora. <risa> Imagine. ¿Quién diría tanto pelo que tienen? Sí. Pero le gusta el calor. Sí, es cierto. Pero usted sabe por qué los gatos tienen bastantes pelos. Se conoce la historia. A ver. No me la puedo. Mande. No me la puedo. Pero porque... sí. en inglés, the story in English. Exactly, exactly. A ver, go ahead. Esa difícil, esa difícil. Tell us in, in English, but I try. Okay. okay. Uh, the history says, uh, the Mishi, <laughs> the Meow Meow. <laughs> uh, the cats have a very, a very long, uh, what do you say? Pelos? <laughs> Hair. Hair. Okay. Hair. Because uh, it's a, it's a try with the demo. I know that. Yes. yes. <laughs> because the cat uh, care the babies. Uh -huh. And <clears throat> the cat says to the demo, or Debbie, or demo, uh, if, if the demo, uh, uh, what do you say, lograr? Got. Okay. The demon got the counting the hair for the cat. He uh, he, will take, <laughs> he, will, he will take he will take a baby and then uh, but that's not true. Yes, but it's a history. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good history. <laughs> we don't believe it, right, Carla? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vaya, Carla, Lorena, Carla, Patricia, and Karen. Vaya, pues, ya los... Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. How are you, Karen? Hi. Excellent. I find. Vamos a Adriana Marcela, are you here? Present teacher, but I'm going to stay as listener for the first hour. Analicia. Present teacher. 
Carolina. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Ta. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elvin Alexander. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Joanna. Present teacher. I'm going to be a listener the first hour because I'm still at work. Ok. Espérenme, voy a escribir los nombres porque si no se me olvida y los mando combinados a ustedes solitos. <ríe> y soy dos oyentes juntos, me hablo a, a estar calladito. Vamos a ver. Adriana me dijo, ¿verdad? Joana. Carla, Carla. Y Karen. Teacher. Hola. Eh, la primera hora igual yo voy a estar de oyente. Va, va de viaje todavía, Diego. Sí. Ok. Vaya. Jonathan. Yo... Presente. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Hola, teacher. Presente. También voy a estar de oyente un rato porque todavía hay que camino para mi casa. Ok, ok. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Este es el café para la clase. Bacha U. Eh, Carla Elena. Karen Elena. Present teacher. I'm mixing names. Karen Janet. Karen. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. <coughs> Carla Patricia. Mucho tecito, Carla. Tecito, tecito de jengibre cae. Súper. Carla Patricia. Car tequila, tequila, vaya. Ya oyó a Luis. <risa> tequila, <risa> Si Luis solo tequila le ofrece a uno. Como que no es farmacéutico. Pero solo le ofrece. Sí, como que no es farmacéutico él, ¿verdad? ¿Qué problema es, teacher, de que y, y, y este, no, no lo llevo? Porque quien lo traía se me fue. Oh. Ajá, que era, era Isabel. Oh. Isabel era el que lo ponía, yo lo recomendaba. <risa> ok. Vaya, Carla Patricia, Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Ay, ya se me había perdido usted por varios días, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto? No, para nada, teacher, aquí he estado. Mm, quiero ver. El régimen de sección. Ah, <risa> ah, ya sé por qué es que lo sentí que se había perdido mucho, porque faltó un día y el otro estuvo medio. Eh, no, estuvo completo. ¿Se acuerda que todavía le pregunté y me puse asistencia? Sí, me dijo. Vamos a ver. Pero aquí estoy, aquí estoy. No, el viernes no estuvo, Luis. Ah, no, es que hay, hay unos positivos de COVID aquí en la casa, entonces. Ya vi, me tocó. ya vi, ya vi, ya vi. Ay, perdón. Y el Ay, todavía. Solo tiene 59 minutos. No va a haber clases por eso, entonces. Tiene que ah, ok. <risa> no, porque... Por aquí voy a estar, no se preocupe. Good evening, teacher. Así bien controlados los tengo cuando me pierden ustedes. Estos ¿Sí? niños se pierden. Me dijo good evening, Oscar. Hola. Sí. Okay. Ya casi llego a su nombre, Oscar. Vaya, Luis Mauricio. Present, teacher. Nubia. Present. Ahí está. 
Rusailda. Present teacher. Ah, ya le tocó cantar. <risa> David Alexander. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Beatriz. Present teacher. Estamos. Muy bien, muy bien, muy bien. Solo nos falta Claudia y Carolina, güey. Oh, miren. Present teacher, aquí estoy, que voy manejando. Wow. Hoy sí, hoy sí que nos merecemos el pastel. Estamos todos. Finally. ¿Qué les parece? Dense un aplauso. Ahí tiene las reacciones. Dense un aplauso. Sí. Mire, ve. Uh, sí. Y qué primera vez en la historia que estamos todos. <ríe> en la última clase, teacher. <ríe> Y la, y ahora es la última no, no, no es la última clase pero los, los 23 mañana y pasado yes we finish on Wednesday on, eh, it's in only last three classes we finish oh. Claudia yes. Carolina. Sí, no, sí. Son. El miércoles terminamos, porque acuerdan que nos, se nos movió un día por el asueto del 10 de, de, de mayo, ¿verdad? Pero ahí estamos. Vaya, pues. Ok. Well, today class 18. Por ahí preguntaban qué clase es ahora. Well, class 18. How to use the verb to be in the past. And we are going to use the verb to be, not only the verb to be, also the other verbs to talk about events in the past, right? What events have you attended lately, right? So, or maybe not lately, some time ago. What events have you attended? What things did you learn in those events? That's what you're going to be telling me here, okay? That's why we are going to be using the verb to be and other verbs in the past to describe past events. Now, look at these uh, questions. Where do trainings take place in your company? And who are the eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace? Everybody can go to a training or your company chooses a couple of people to go to the training while the others continue working. Mm -hmm. Let's discuss this here. Tengo mucha gente fuera. A ver. Let's discuss it here. Where do trainings take place in your company? Where? Do they take place in the company, in a hotel, in a restaurant, outside the company? Where? In the, in the office for the trainings. They, in the training room. You have a training room? No, it's a... Cámara de Comercio, okay. or it's a four. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. A ver, a ver, David, where do trainings take place in your company? Uh, in, in my company, training, in, in the um, room, in the room, in the trainings take place in in the in what type of room? In the middle room, or how do you say, sala de capacitaciones? 
Okay, in the meeting room mm -hmm. or in, in the, the training? In the, the training room. room. Mm -hmm. Training room. In the training room. Very good. Nice, nice. Beatriz, where do trainings take place in your company? Beatriz, Beatriz, Beatriz. <laughs> Where do trainings take place in your company? Teacher, how do you say place? Place? Yes. Place? What? ¿Dónde, ¿Dónde son? ¿Dónde son? ¿Dónde hacen los trainings en su compañía? Eso es lo que le pregunto ahí. In, in the, how do you say centro de, de entrenamiento? In the training room. In the training to, room. Uh -huh. In the training room. Very good. Who are eligible people to go to trainings at your workplace. Everybody goes to trainings? In our work, yes, teacher. Okay. No. Yes. Okay. No workers. Who are el eligible? Can you dijo no, no. Who are eligible to go to a training? Ajá, Luis. In my case, <clears throat> who are the eligible people? Mm -hmm. In the manager. All people. Everybody. Everybody, yes, because okay. the, the training are in, in uh, it's like this, or on internet. Okay, you do trainings online now? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, right now is I have an, another training, <laughs> but it's a uh, is yo lo yo lo he tomado ahorita fuera de. Okay. Pero en empresa sí. Okay. Todos son visibles y a todos a todos nos envían tanto presencial como virtual. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lubia, what about in your in your workplace? Are the eligible people to go to trainings? Um, I think that everybody because uh, the different area of the company mm -hmm. is important to take a training. Are there trainings for different topics? Are there trainings for different Repeat. topics? Are there trainings, trainings for different topics? Yes. Okay. What about in your workplace, Anna? Uh, it is the same uh, as a teacher we have a kind of training a personal who works in general services as cleaning the school and kind of things they have another training and the one the others that work in administrative department they have another type of training in different times but in the same room we usually use the aula cra room okay in case you need to connect to the internet right it is true uh -huh. mm -hmm. that's the best place to do it. okay excellent thank you Anna. let's see aquí todos los que están escondidos vamos a ver elvin yeah a ver, who are the eligible people to go to trainings in your company? In my company, or the eligible training people are the supervisor. Mm -hmm. and, 
are three supervisor, three songs. Okay. So the supervisors are the ones that go to trainings. Yeah. Okay. They have the trainings in the company in a special place, so they have to go out try to have the training. Uh, in the training room in my company. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you. Now, look at the conversation. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Repeat. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. Hello, Mr. Lewis. I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. The speaker had a lot of experience. And he was very knowledgeable. And he was very knowledgeable. 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 Did he provide examples of the topics he talked about? Did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was so minutes late and we left very late. Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay, perfect. You know, when, when I saw this, um, how was the training? I just remember a training we took at the Intercontinental Hotel. And when we got to the to the to the school the next day, my boss asked, "Hey, how was the how was the conference? Right? How was the training?" And another colleague told her, "You know what? The dessert was delicious." <laughs> It's always the same teacher. <laughs> so she was not thinking about the training. She was thinking about the dessert at the hotel that was very good. Imagine. But you don't do that, right? You don't go to the training just for the dessert. No, teacher. No. <laughs> <laughs> teacher. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I think in this in these times. Uh, because of we have the opportunity to have a training as a presential way in a virtual way, mm -hmm. we have a lot of a little abuse of that, I think, uh -huh. because uh, I don't know. Uh, sometimes the empresas think that you have time at home to get another training just because you are at home and this is not good this is your home time yeah. uh, so far that than your work time so yes. I think that this is not a good uh, I don't know how to say no es una buena manera a good way Unfortunately, Anna, that's true. Unfortunately, that happens. That happens. That you get lots of trainings not in working time, out of schedule, right? Out of schedule. What about the others? Does it happen to you? Do you get trainings in, in the schedule that is not of your work schedule? Or well, that happens only to the teachers? A ver, Nubia, cuéntenos. What teacher? Repeat. Please. Okay, the question is, if you get trainings 
in time or schedules that are out of your working schedule. When you're out, when you're not working. Or when you get training, that training is in your schedule, in your working schedule. Um, I prefer the uh, schedule. Um, time, the work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So in your working time. Yes, working time. In your working time. Yes. What about the others? When, it, when are your meetings? At work time? Or your trainings or conferences and things that you have, capacitations that you have at work? Are they in your working time? Or are they, as Anna said, out of time? In your free time? Right. Yes, teacher. Uh, in my case, I get a uh, another's another's training out of, out of this uh out of schedule. The yes. But that was your decision to take it that time, or the company said this is the schedule. No, it's my your decision. My decision. Yes. Okay. I decision. Okay. Okay. I decide for the schedule for. A uh, training for a, a, a work in a, a virtual work mm -hmm. and others, and another training uh, about the about it inversions uh, finance and others finance mm -hmm. it's like that okay. and training for the food <laughs> oh yes it's learning cook to cook yes because okay. i study a uh, uh, um how do you say cuisine <laughs> you're learning to cook mm -hmm. but i mean that those two trainings that you have mentioned luis are yes. out of your work so those are trainings yes. that you personally decided to take yes exactly mm -hmm. okay uh-huh what about when you have a training that is required by the company? Uh, that I think company. that it have to be on or in work time. And they don't have to make you feel that if you don't get it, uh, you are not interested in your work. They make you feel that Entre más, eh, even more training you take, it doesn't matter if it's it at home, eh, that show that you are very interested in your work and this is not true. Sometimes you do it just because you have to, eh, and maybe sometimes you feel like, well, my work is, eh, I have to take care of it. Mm -hmm. So do you feel you have taken more trainings now that you are online? Yes, a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, a ver, Edwin, tell me, what do you think about it? In my office, um, uh, when it's a new em employee, uh, receive the capacitation of security mm -hmm. in the construction uh, all the all the required for eh uh, eh uh, no sé conducirse en en la construcción okay uh, yeah, um, of course if no they can have an accident right and that's, right. that's like industrial security, right? Right. Okay. And uh, uh, for email, uh, I receive invitation for some events. Or events, uh, events. For some events? Events. events uh, 
Well, some, some uh, temas, topics, topics uh, about management, and another, another topics, but always is in time the scheduled work. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's very difficult to uh, take it. Uh, uh -huh, because you're busy. Uh -huh. exactly. uh -huh. So that, that's a disadvantage too. And I guess, I guess the reason why Anna uh, feels that she has trainings outside the schedule is because they will tell you you cannot leave the children alone, right? Mm -hmm. So you cannot leave the children alone then the, the training has to be when you are free. Mm -hmm. That could be the reason why the teachers have the training in, a, in the time when they are supposed to be free. Okay, very good, very good. So this is an advantage and a disadvantage, right? As having the training in the working schedule, because as Edwin says, um, you're very busy and you need to go to the training. And the other, the other disadvantage of having the training out of the schedule is that you want to rest and you cannot because you have a training, right? Okay, vamos a ver, pues. <clears throat> I'm going to send you to the rooms. I'm going to send you in groups of three, so in each of in each group, we will have a person who will be only listening. Okay. Vamos a ver. You go to your manual, page forty-three. Okay, page forty-three. Let's make. Hoy qué pasó? Éramos veinticuatro conmigo y, y solo veo veintiuno. 21, 22 conmigo. 8, 24. Bueno, let's make seven groups then. Uh -huh. Karen Elena. Carla Lorena. Elvin. Ya no moviendo, que no me quede. Carla Lorena y Carolina, no, ¿verdad? Claudia y Carolina. No veo a Joana. Ahí ya la vi. Diego, ouch, espérame, es que me quedan dos. Y José Alfredo, no lo veo, José Alfredo, are you here? El área donde están las películas. 
Ah, vaya, por ahí anda. Ok. Ouch. Carla Lorena. Carolina. José Alfredo, Rosailda, Claudia Carolina. Pero Claudia Carolina no está. Adriana, Carla, Patricia. Ajá. Karen Stephanie Joana. Karen Janet Oscar Taylor. Es que aquí se me complica porque hay mucha gente afuera. Bueno, vamos a ver. Creo que alguien no estaba cuando ahora empecé los grupos. Ya lo mando a ubicar. By a check, try to join. Join, join. Try to join. Grace Michelle. Adriana. Carla Patricia. Tiche, ahí me dejó con dos que van de camino. Si eso estaba viendo, fíjese, justo, justo, justo. Es que el asunto es que tengo mucha gente fuera, tengo ocho personas conectadas, pero que no están. Vamos a ver. Ana Beatriz. Carolina, Grace. Carolina, Cla Carla Lorena, Elena, Luis. Y todos están con dos. Todos están con uno que anda. No, no fue. Uh -huh. Tiche, yo estuve a punto de quedarme fuera. ¿Y eso? Ay, no aguanto los ojos. Me duelen este momento de unos vasitos. Ay. Y no aguanto la luz. Me duele estar así, mucha luz, pero ya falté dos veces, no quiero faltar más. ¿Y no tiene lentes? No, yo no uso lentes. ¿Unos lentes oscuros que se hay por ahí? <risa> no, Tiche, me van a estar molestando. <risa> Ya se imagina Luis Mauricio. ¿verdad? Es que lo estaba molestando a él porque le dije yo que se había despeinado, le mandé un mensaje y me dije que se va a poner como un turbante. Vaya, pues le digo, quiero ver, a ver si se lo pone. <risa> va a estar molestando con los lentes. No, creo que aguanto un poquito. La luz quizás voy a poder más tarde. Sí, mejor para que no le, no le dé mucho. <risa> Vamos a ver, me la llevo. Vamos. Sí, yo... Well, she was some minutes late and we left very late. Okay. I am, I am Mr. Lewis. Or Lewis. Lewis. You, you are Eric. Lewis. Y Grace. Ah, Grace. Uh -huh. mm. Yes, I'm practicing. Okay, entonces, okay. I am Mr. Lewis, you are Eric, Care, digo, Grace, Michelle. Okay. 
Hi, Eric. How is espérame, espérame, it going? Espérame, espérame. Porque okay. se me volvió a perder la hoja. Ahí. Pues si quiere, comienza usted ahora. Okay. Eh, eh, Elvin. <risa> <risa> Cambiamos nombre, <risa> Nubia. Eric, le di mi cuento, se di. <risa> Qué pena. Hay que me hablar. Okay. Hi, Eric. How is going? <risa> Hello, Mrs. Levy. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. Who was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Indeed, he brought an exemplar of the topic he talking about. Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. 43. <laughs> 43. Perdón? 43. Ahorita, ahorita. Ok, listo, ya la tengo. Ok. 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 Eh, ok, si gusta comienza. No. Hi, Eric. Who is it going? Hello, Mr. Le Legend. I am just feed. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Who, who was the trainee? I was ex excellent. They speak had a, a lot of experience, experience and he has very calm, very Carnolain, no sé cómo se pronuncia, ahorita lo busco. Quiero ver, déme un minuto, quiero salir de la duda y ver la correcta pronunciación. Aquí está. Veamos, sería. Knowledgeable. 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 Um, I was excellent. I was speaking as a lot of, of experience. And he, and he was very knowledgeable. 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 No legibles. Did he provide example of the topics he talked about? Yes, he did, and he used a compu, compu, computer uh, to provide example. So good. So everything. Was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes live, and we let very late. Okay. Cambiamos. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> Teacher, could you repeat, please, the word knowledgeable? Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. And, and the meaning is? Que sabe. Able ah. de conocimiento, vea. No lo llevo. Él sabe mucho, sabía mucho. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Sabía mucho. No legible. No legible. No legible. No legible. Okay. Are we going to, to answer the questions? Yes. yes? Okay. Ay, ¿qué hice? Vaya, Lucy. What kind of event did Eric attend? Uh, 
It was a training. It was a training. Uh -huh. Oh, speak experience. Yes, the speaker had a lot of experience. Yeah. And he was very. Esta palabra. Cria, 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 chivo. Cria, chivo. Así se lee. No le llegó, creo que dice. No le llegó. No le llegó. ¿Cómo te dice? No le llegó. No le llegó. No le Ah, no. No le llegó. No le llegó. No le llegó. Knowledge. 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 Okay. Knowledge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Tell about. Talked. Talked about. I sería Oscar, did he provide example of the topics he talked about? Yeah. Talked about. about. Estamos practicando la pronunciación, teacher. Sí, está bueno. Buenísimo. Dale, Oscar. Yes, I hear. No, no yes, yes, he yes, he I did. yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. I, he, and he, you should. A compu to provide a sample. Ahí sería, Oscar. Uh, yes, he did. Ahí es una pausa y ahí comenzas. And he used a computer to provide examples. Yes, he did. Um, no, sí, no. Yes, he did. And um, he, mm -hmm. uh, he used a compu to provide mm -hmm. a sample. It's training. Veamos. Veamos. The thing was with the speaker usage to provide example. To provide. To provide example. Y Karen está por allí, Edwin. Yes, uh, he recently left a moment. Okay, okay. Did you answer the questions? Yes. Uh, number one is what kind of event did Eric attend? Uh, it's a training. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the number two, what did the speaker use to provide examples? And the speaker was used a computer to provide examples. Mm -hmm. And the number three, what did Eric not like about the event? And the speaker was some minutes late and he left very late. Exactly. I am going back. Okay. Nice. Nice. Ya respondimos, teacher. Solo okay, Joana, que no sé si está allí o de oyente. Está trabajando. No, ella está trabajando, Joana. Está trabajando. Ah, ok. Ya practicamos y ya respondimos las preguntas. Sí. Teacher, ¿lo puedo decir bien eh, la segunda oración de Eric? Donde dice, and he was very... Knowledge. Knowledge. No, 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 Thank you, Edwin. Thank you, Karen. Okay, couple of minutes, and everybody will be here.
Ok, ok. We are nine right now. Que tengo varios, de, varios enfermitos hoy. Y otros que están trabajando. Es que ahí se nos, se nos combina, vea. Ok, couple of volunteers. Volunteers. Para la, 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 la conversación, dice. Yes, yes, yes. Me, 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 me. Empiezo. Yeah. Hi, Eric. How is going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide example of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was so muted late and we left very late. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, chicas. Thank you, eh, Beatriz and, and Edwin. A ver, who will be the next? Next, 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 next. Me. Okay, Anna and Rosy, right? Me. Sí. Nice. I am Luis. Hi, okay. Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Luis. I'm, I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was has very knowledgeable. 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 Mm -hmm. Did he provide examples of the topic, topics he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide example. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Sorry. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I need two more volunteers. Me, teacher? Okay, Nubia, go ahead. Oh, with Elvin. Elvin. Me, teacher. <clears throat> Hi, Eri, how is it going? Hello, Mrs. Lewis. I am just fine. Thanks for asking. You are welcome for the the training. This speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Did he provide an explanation of the topic he talking about? Yes, he did. And he used Used a computer to provide example. So it's good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was so minutes late and we left very late. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Now let's check the questions, right? What kind of event did Eric attend? Mm -hmm. Eric attended a training. He attended a training. What did the speaker use to provide examples? He used, he a, used a computer to provide examples. Okay. What did Eric not like about the event? The speaker was some muted letter. Okay. The speaker was late, right? The speaker was late. And he arrived late and at the end he finished late. He didn't like that. Okay, perfect. 
Well, I'm going to stop sharing right now and we will check attendance. Let's see, Adriana. Adriana. Analicia. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin. Present teacher. Elvin Alexander. Present teacher. <clears throat> Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Joanna. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Estefan. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Carla Patricia. La Patricia no. No, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Novia. Present teacher. Rosaida. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay. Perfect. Teacher Adriana present. Sorry, I have a difficult with the microphone. Problems with the microphone. Okay, okay. Back down. Let's go. Now, remember we were talking about that one of these days, right? The structure did plus subject plus verb plus complement. Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Did the speaker check? Did the speaker use? Did the listeners ask questions? Did the listeners ask questions? Did the listeners ask questions? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Notice that when we, uh, when we use the auxiliary in the past, we use the verb in present, okay? When we ask a question or when we make questions, in this case, just no questions, right? We put the auxiliary in past, did, and then a verb to a verb, but the verb has to be in present. Did you go to the park yesterday? Did you clean the table? Did you travel abroad? Did you arrive early to work? Yeah, did you? And the verb in present. Remember, we were saying before that in this type of questions, the idea is that you say, oh, yes or no, right? And you can also, uh, you can give a long answer or you can give a short answer. Then you say, did the speaker use a computer? 
Yes, he did. Did the speaker use a computer in the speech? No, he didn't. Did the listeners ask questions? Yes, they did. Did the listeners ask questions? No, they didn't. I don't know if you have questions about this point here. Questions? In just in this moment? It's clear. No. Hmm. Okay, in this moment, no, says Mauricio. What about the others? Do you have any questions? No question. I listened uh, to a girl uh -huh. say teacher, but I don't, <laughs> oh, I don't know who was. I think uh, Anna. I think Anna? So. Anna? Tell me, excuse me. Do you have a question? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Luis Mauricio? <laughs> at work. Yes, <laughs> Mauricio says I listen, that I I listen. listen to your voice. Yes, I listen. <laughs> Do you want to sing a song with me? <laughs> no. Okay. Yes, probably. <laughs> Not a happy birthday song. It has to be another one. Uh, I just <laughs> I just know uh, happy birthday. <laughs> and a tequila song. Uh, you know the tequila song. Exactly. And I say tequila. Yes. <laughs> By checking this exercise. What you're going to do as you have no questions, right? Because we have been talking about that before. You're going to write simple past questions using the verbs and pronouns in parentheses. So you have, you meet your boss yesterday. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Very easy, right? Hmm. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Yes, I did or no, I didn't. It was Sunday, right? Okay, so go ahead. Let's make the questions. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to do it. And then we check. Let me know when you finish, right? 
Teacher, tenemos que usar el did. Sí. I'm going to write the first one for you. Vamos a ver. Ok. For example, did you meet your boss yesterday? Did you meet your boss yesterday? What about number two? Did she attend the July conferences? Mm -hmm. Did you say the word conference, teacher? Conference. Excuse conference. me? Conference. 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 Did she attend the July conference? What about number three? Did they, they stay, stay in, the in the meeting last night? Last night. Did they stay in the meeting last night? Mm -hmm. Did they stay in the meeting last night? Number four. Did he pass the, Did test? He pass the test? Did he pass the test? Que le falta una S a pass. Did he pass the test? Number five. Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Okay. Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Number six. Did it start, Did it start on, time? on time? Did it start on time? Did it start on time? Hi, Claudia Carolina. Number seven. Did they? Did they leave early? early? Uh -huh. Did they leave early? Did they leave early? And the last one? Did he arrive on time to the conference? The conference. Did he arrive on time on the conference? Nice. Now repeat after me. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Did you Did meet you your meet boss you yesterday? yesterday? Yesterday. Did she attend the July conference? Did, Did she attend the, the July conference? conference? Did they stay in the meeting last night? Did they stay, Did in, they the stay in the meeting last night? Did he pass the tests? Did he pass the test? Did he pass the test? Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Did you have fun at the Christmas party? The Christmas party. Did it start on time? Did it start, Did it start on time? On time? Did they leave early? Did they leave, Did they leave early? early? Did he arrive on time on the, to the conference? Did he, Did he arrive on time to the conference? To the conference? Okay. Any question, chicos? Question here? No, no questions. Vaya. What you're going to do? 
checking. Is go to the to the group. You're going to write two more questions. Yeah. We have eight questions here. So on your own, you write two more questions. And you will go to the room and ask the questions to your partners. Okay? Gotcha. ¿Quiénes de los oyentes ya están? I'm a bailable teacher. Who's available? Adriana, nice. Yes. Who else? Claudia, Carolina, ya, yeah, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Diego. Diego. No yet, Diego. Perdimos a Diego. Vamos a ver. Oh, hemos perdido a Diego. Vale. Ok, entonces ya cuento con dos personas más. José Alfredo. Todavía no. Ok. Vale, pues, ¿y Joana? Yo, uh, no, no. Hello, hello, teacher. Todavía no. Yes, I'm here. I'm now just getting ready. Ok, perfecto. Ahí está, me llega, porque así ya solo me preocupo por cinco personas, no por ocho. Vaya, check it. Eh, I'm going to send you two rooms for you to first write two extra questions, right? Write two extra questions. Ahí tienen ocho. Write two more. And then you ask all the ten questions to your partner. Cuando sientan, ya no van a tener el mismo compañero, porque ya se lo voy a ver cambiado. Ahí voy a estarle rebotando. Oye. No sé. Ok, teacher. Estamos, Carolina. Ah, José Alfredo y Carla Lorena. No pueden estar juntos. Karen Elena, tampoco. Carla Patricia. Ah, esperen. Claudia Carolina, ya está. Elvin y Jonathan. Vamos a mandar a alguien de aquí. Vamos a hacer tres. ¿Qué dijo, Ticho? ¿Ah? Es que ando moviendo gente ahorita. Carla Lorena. No es que no puedo dejar juntos dos que, que no están. Karen Stephanie Elvin. Vaya. Claudia Carolina, ya. Jonathan y Carla Lorena, bien. Joana, Karen Stephanie Rosa Hilda. Edwin Grace y Karen Elena, Karen Elena. Ay, ¿cuál Karen es la que está trabajando? ¿Karen Elena o Karen Stephanie? Karen Elena, ¿verdad? Yo estoy aquí, no, dice. Ya vino Karen Lena. Yes, I'm here. Ah, bye. Perfecto. Yes. Ok. Ana Karen Janet. Ah, no. Es que es Karen Janet que está enfermita. No le puse Karen. Bueno, let's go. Let's go, let's go. <clears throat> nice.
Jonathan tried to join. No hay para dónde. No hay para dónde. Ok. Ahí vamos a ver. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Refresqueme la mente porque no escuché. Que vamos a hacer dos oraciones más con los ocho ejemplos que teníamos. Y nos va a estar cambiando de grupos para estar haciendo así las preguntas. Hola. Es lo que medio entendí yo, no sé. Teacher. Ay. ¿Qué es lo que tenemos que hacer? Sentences Question. about what? No, question. Questions. Ah, questions about what? Um, no ha estado nada. Es cierto, se acaba de conectar. Question. Acabo de empezar a prestar atención. Um, the exercise is use simple pass and yes, not question. Simple past and years or not question? Yes. Uh, example, did a speaker use a computer in the speech? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Example. Okay. Uh, exercise page number 44. In the manual. Voy a checar porque no lo tengo aquí. Me metí en el celular así. Ah, uh, este, lo puedo compartir. Pero... Ah, por favor. This example. Carolina Abigail, hello. Hello, teacher. Yo le voy a traer a alguien que estoy viendo que la persona que entraba con usted aquí no entró. No la... sí, solo estoy con José, pero sé que va de camino. Y él anda todavía manejando. Sí. Ya le traigo a alguien. Ok, teacher, estos días me estaba conectando porque estaba algo agripada, pero bastante. De acuerdo que me dijo. He estado, pero se me ha tapado la nariz demasiado. Ay, qué tremendo. Viene el doctor que le va a recomendarte. Yes. No, me, no me dan abasto los lo de mi sala, me va a mandar lo, lo, la medicina de, de la sala de él. Ajá. Ay, no, qué tremendo. Ok. okay. I have a, 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 one, a one question only. <laughs> Did you work in another place? Is correct, teacher? Did you work in, a, do you work or did you work? Did you? Mm -hmm. Did you work in another place? No se preocupe por la pregunta que en el siguiente ejercicio tienen que escribir siete. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Así es que don't worry, ask the ones that you have right now, and later on you will have time to, to write more. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. If you... Se me ocurrió la mía. Did you bring drink? Uh, <laughs> Did you drink tequila for the for the flu? No. Yes. No, tomar algo mezclado con antihistamina y código fuerte. ¿Qué le pasa más luego? Eh? Exacto. <laughs> Remember the alcohol is a antiseptic. <laughs> Mauricio, a ver qué producción no quiere hacer. En, en, if you drink the alcohol mixed with the blue. <laughs> and 
And cleaning the and cleaning the blue. <laughs> cleaning, okay, yeah, cleaning inside too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You need a tequila. Only one tequila. <laughs> Only one shot. <laughs> okay, ask the questions to your family. Okay. Yo no, no las he hecho todavía, teacher. O nos vamos a preguntar las que había puesto en la. No, las que usted ha creado. Oh, okay. Okay. No, las que, las que acabamos de completar. Ah, yo creí que las que yo hice. Ya nos mandó a dos sorda de la gripe. También, <ríe> todas. All questions. Sí. Ok. Uh, give me a moment, please. Only just one. Second. Yo solo copié dos, cuatro, seis, creo yo, de las que estaban en la pantalla. Ajá. Pero creo que eran siete. Revisar. No, eran ocho y de acuerdo a la teacher con dos más, llegábamos al punto. Okay. Al punto de diez. ¿Qué se encontró, Mauricio? No, pero ahorita estamos aquí. Aquí voy. Cuarenta y qué. Aquí ah, también. Did you meet? Did you meet your boss yesterday? Yes, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Mm, no, I didn't. No, you didn't. No, I didn't. Ahora andaba en la 17. Okay. You asked me. Okay. Did you meet? Did you meet your boss yesterday? No, no, I didn't. Okay. The second is a. Uh, did she attend the July conference? Mm, no, I didn't. No, she didn't. Okay, no, she didn't. Okay. And you ask me. Okay, le cambiaré ese por de verdad. Did he attend? He? Sería en vez de she? Did yes. he attend the July conference? Yes, he did. <laughs> Más que allá arriba está la respuesta. <laughs> Para variar. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Y su, y su pregunta la tiene. Mm, a ver, bueno, vamos por la tercera de, de las que había puesto la teacher. ¿verdad? No, la mía no la he hecho todavía. No la había levantado. No, no, todavía no. No la he elaborado. Ya me ganó más. Um, yo le uh, I listen to you and says, tú, Gaby. Pobrecito, va dicho. Anda ahí, enfermita. Yeah. Hoy me voy. Bien. Hi, hi. Ahí está. Teacher Oscar Mauricio wants to ask you something. Tell me, Oscar Mauricio. En verdad, yo soy. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, Oscar. I'm just. Que está bien la pregunta así de abajo donde, donde, donde pusimos a you lo que le dije a you take the dog or the work work 
White. No, ahí no dice no, are you no. take, ahí dice did you take. Did you take the dog for a walk today? Did you tell, ah, the dog, que si sacó el perrito, le decía yo a, sí. de paseo ahora. Fíjese que today es una palabra que se ocupa mayormente para el Presente. Presente. Y especialmente para hablar de lo que está haciendo en el momento. Entonces, um, pod pod podría usar como this morning o yesterday. Entonces sería. Ahí, ahí, claro, todo dependería de qué hora del día está hablando. Así como ahorita. Suppose, ajá, we are supposing that we are at night. Ajá. Did you have dinner? Ajá, pero así mejor varíenme las expresiones para que no solo sea today, ¿verdad? Ajá. Las que tienen también en el, en el libro, en el manual. I worked this morning. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Ahí está. A ver. Espera, 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 espera. Did you travel by bus? Así de, la una está bien. Bye. La una está bien. Porque ya estamos a las nueve de la noche pasadas. Did you travel by bus today? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, but I, I, I just have a doubt if the reaction, did you take the dog for a walk? It's okay. Sí. It's okay. Cuando, uh, I, eh, I, 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 what is? No, dele, dele. Ajá, tell me, Ana. Okay, I've been, espontáneamente. Ajá. Spontaneously. Spontaneously, we are, uh, I, Are we there? are, Ajá, uh -huh, I don't know, que spontaneously I can write some things that a few months ago I couldn't. Uh -huh. It's with the practice. Yes. A little things, but I noticed. It's with the practice. Ahí está. Sí, mire, ve bien galán. Ha escrito cuatro oraciones ahí rapidito. Vemos con Mauricio. Vea, Mauricio. Y Karencita, que no sé si está ahí, pero ahí ha estado con nosotros. Está con migraña, Janet. Ay, me imagino. Está con migraña. Ah, si no ahí estuviera. Exacto. Está malita. Vaya, hoy pra practiquen preguntarse las otras, las del manual. Ok. Mm. Hi, hi. ¿Cómo vamos? Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hello, Karen Elena. ¿Cómo yes, vamos? Finished. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Perfecto. Voy a sacar un ratito.
Okay. A ver, did you meet your boss yesterday? David, did you meet your boss yesterday? Okay, Oscar, did you meet your boss yesterday? <clears throat> Pues según ahí el, el, se puso que did you meet, pero la contestación. Uh -huh. Did you meet. Pero no. Sobre usted, no, sobre usted. No me conteste del manual, sino que sobre usted. Did you ah, meet no. your boss yesterday? No, no. I didn't. No, I didn't. No, no hay. Okay. no, es que no es que si lo conoce, si lo encontró. ¿Encontró a su jefe ayer? No hay idea. Ok. Uh, Claudia Carolina, ¿did Carla Lorena attend the July conference? Yes, she did. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Luis Edgardo, did they stay in the meeting last night? Did they stay in the meeting last night? Luis Edgardo, no está. En su defecto, Luis Mauricio. En su defecto, Luis Mauricio, vaya, Luis Mauricio. Did they stay in the meeting last night? Yes, I did. Yes, they? Yes, I did. Sorry. <laughs> yes, they. Yes. yes, they. Okay, yes, they. Nubia. Yes. Nubia, did Ed, Edwin pass the test? No, he did. He no, he didn't. <laughs> okay, no, he didn't. Yes, he did. Uh, Rosy, did you have fun at the Christmas party? Yes, I did, teacher. Okay, Adriana, did it start on time? Did the meeting start on time? Yes, it did it. Yes, it did. Yeah, it's true, yes, it did. Yes, it did. Okay, Oscar, did they leave early? Temprano. Yes, I did. They. Did they? they. Yes. Yes, I did. No, they. They. Yes, they. Did. Nosotros, nosotros. Sí, que si le pregunto eh. sobre they, me responde sobre they. Did they live early? Yes. yes they. Yes, they did. did. Uh -huh. A ver, Karen Stephanie. Did Oscar arrive on time to the conference? He did. Yes, he did. Okay. Yes, he did. Yes. Nice. By a checking. Now think about past events. Right? Think about past events, can be meeting, can be a conference, can be a seminar, a training, a party, whatever event in your company. And write the question. O ya saben cómo, ¿verdad? Write seven questions about past events in your company. Remember, when we say past events, that can be training, seminar, conference, meeting, a party, a reunion. Okay, whatever type of event at your workplace. Remember everything here is related to the workplace, right? So, is that clear? But in the same, 
a structure that we were working using exactly. the auxiliary did. Exactly, exactly. Ready, ready? Yes, Miss, thank you. Bacha, perfect. Intenso. Intenso. <laughs> Vamos. I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you. Pero bueno. Mm. Hola, hola. Nos tocó juntos. Sí. Qué rápido. No, no nos ha mandado los grupos todavía. Todavía no, todavía no. Todavía no, todavía no, todavía no, todavía no. Vámonos, pues. Vámonos. Sí, se puede mandarlo otra vez. Le di, ¿no? Por darle, sí. ¿Quién era la Karen Stephanie? Sí. Ahí a la mano. Grace, try to join. Sí, lo es. Ok. okay Voy a ¿cómo? proyectar. Ok. Había, había empezado porque habíamos entendido mal eh, con unas en la anterior. Así que tengo estas dos. Dice, but I have a question. Eh, in the second one, when you answer. Eh, espera, no, vámonos a la uno primero. Es que no las, no las había. Pues, no, no. Pues, ah, aquí. Okay. Vaya, recuerde que cuando usamos esas expresiones de tiempo como last week, last month, yesterday, esas no pueden ir en medio, esas van al final. Ok, did you go? Did you go to church? To the church. To church. Ah, ok. Did you go to church last weekend? Okay, eso no lo sabía. Y el you como es un inglés formal me lo escribí. Es con, okay. Did you go to church last weekend? Yes, I did. Keep uh -huh. it. Okay. Uh -huh. Did you eat pizza at, at lunch? At lunch. At lunch. Sí, no, no de. Why not? Es que el de es no sé, de, es como muletilla que le agregan mucho de a todo. Ok. Todo bien salvadoreño. Bien español. La María, la Ana. Cabal. La Dicho, Ana. No, la de Cabal. Did you eat it at lunch time? No, I didn't. Ajá. Y ese. Pero. Ese. El verbo, esa es mi pregunta. Ajá. El verbo es. Vaya, como ocupa el auxiliar, so I have to answer in present or in past. Pero le, when apuesto, I use le, le apuesto un punto. No, es como. Quiera. No. Ay, no, es punto. No, I didn't eat pizza. I ate tacos. Estaría bien. ¿Así? Sí, pero en ese caso, no, I didn't. I ate tacos. Ah, okay. oh. Ah, ok. Entonces, si no, si fuera la otra, sería... Lo voy a si no llevara ese puntito allí, usted me podría decir, I no, I didn't eat pizza. No, no, I didn't oh. eat. Like. Uh -huh. No, I didn't eat pizza. Punto. Ahí hay tacos. Ah, ok. 
Y después de no coma. ¿No? Ah, no, aquí es el no. Ajá, ahí. Después del didn't, no. Ajá. Ok. Ah, esas serían las dos formas. No, I didn't, I ate tacos. No, I didn't eat pizza, I ate tacos. Ah, but, ah, ya, ya, ya. O sea, cuando no hay punto se tiene, y se usa el auxiliar, tiene que ser, eh, se, es el verbo, verbo, el verbo re, ajá. Sí. Cuando ya se utiliza el punto, entonces ahí sí se puede, sí, no, ahí ya, sí es ya el pasado. Ahí, ajá. ahí sí lleva, exacto. Ok, ok, thank you. Thank okay. you. So, I no sé si, sí. continue with the others. Sí. Ya tiene, thank you, ya dos. <risa> che, pero ¿cómo puede ver esa letra? Ay, ahorita, perdón, se lo pongo más grandecito. Con los lentes. Ah, okay. Vaya, ahí ya vi mejor. Los lentes, Rosy, los lentes. Sí, perdón, okay. los lentes. <risa> Yesterday, José, me dice que si sí, él lo encontró, ¿verdad? Ahí está la teacher, ve, pregúntame mm -hmm. una sola. A ver, a ver, pregúntenme. Teacher, eh, is the correct, eh, did, did you travel this year did you travel eh, para, que, year. para que suene a pasado póngale at the beginning of the year ¿cómo perdón? did you travel at the beginning of the year ah ok sí did you de contrario tendría que ser did you travel last year ¿verdad? Sí, no, tendría que, si usted quiere usar this year, tendría que usar el present perfect. Have you traveled this year? ¿Ha viajado este año? Porque el año no si acaba. Fuera, uh, si fuera el año pasado, sí sería did they travel. No, did you travel last did year? Last year, exacto. Entonces, si fuera en este, sería how, have no, me dijo. Have you traveled this year? How did, did you travel? You travel? Uh -huh. um, Have you this year? Porque no ha terminado el año. Uh -huh. Entonces es mejor que busque una expresión que le, que le indica que algo empezó y terminó, ¿verdad? Que es pasado. Entonces no, mejor, es el proceso. Exacto. Did you travel at the beginning of the month? Did you travel last month? Last month. Last, uh -huh. month. last week. Yeah. O sea, que hay que especificar lo que ya pasó, en qué tiempo específico. ¿no? Exacto. Last week, o last weekend, last Ajá. Sunday. Yes. Eh, yo tengo, did you have some training recently? Did you have? Did you have some training recently? Recently. Ah, pero si le pone recently, igual tendría que ir con el present perfect. Entonces uh, póngale last week. Last week. Uh -huh. Sí, porque si le pone recently, in the last days. Ya eh, le incluye. Eso va con el present perfect. Uh -huh. Esa expresión. Okay. Ok, teacher. Thank you, mi cabeza me están hablando. Como yo todavía sigo trabajando, por eso a veces me, me quedo un ratito en silencio. Okay. Okay. I have Así a question. Eh, like this. Did he learn the last class of English? Did he learn in the last, the last English class? class of in English. English. In the last English class. Did he learn in the mm -hmm. last English class? Mm -hmm. English class. Yeah. Okay. The last. Oh, no. Otro sería, teacher. Did you visit your family yesterday? Is that correct? Yeah, it's okay. 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 Did you visit your family yesterday? Did you uh, Did you play soccer last Sunday? 
Nice, nice, nice. Okay. okay. And for... Yeah. Did they go to a doctor last night? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, nice. Teacher, teacher. Finish. Yes, yeah, teacher. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> no question. Uh, yeah, but. Yo digo que no. Hoy me hacen falta los consejos de, de ay, ¿cómo se llamaba su compañera que, esa, que era fisioterapista? Um, se me olvidó el nombre, pero ya sé quién es, pero ya no voy a decir. Era de Sonsonate. Ajá, ajá. Ay, chica. No me acuerdo si es Nidia. No. No, no es Nidia, va. Uh -uh. Uy, no. Se me olvidó el teacher. I forget. Sí, a mí también me olvidó. Because we had a physiotherapist. Y yes. estaba en este módulo o en el anterior. No, it was no. The, the last time was on the third module, right, Liz? That yes. was the last module she did, third module. Mm -hmm. Third, yes, third module. Yeah. Ah, no me En el tercero, no me acuerdo. Ay, se me, se me quiere ocurrir el nombre, pero no me acuerdo. Se le va y se le viene. Y no, I sí. don't remember. Ah, y uno dice, es este, y lo tiene así como en la punta. Ajá, de... on, the tip, on, on the tip of the tongue. Ajá, on the tip of the tongue. On the tip of the tongue. Pero no. No, no, no. I don't remember. You finish, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Okay. Go home. Go home. <laughs> Go home. Go home. <laughs> Vamos a ir a ver. Eh, let's see. Faltan. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Pero es que hay gente que no ha terminado. Sí, sí. Solo eran siete, Baticha. Sí. Mm -hmm. Only. Hi, hi, how are you doing? Did you finish? Yes, yes teacher. teacher. We finish. Okay, thank you, Joanna. Bye, Karen. Any questions? Questions. A ver que nos faltan varios. Everybody here? Yes. Yes, teacher. Probably teacher. <laughs> Probably teacher. A ver, a ver, who will be my first volunteer to ask? Okay, teacher. Uh, we have a novela right here. La novela, ¿cuál novela? <laughs> Doramas. Vamos a Doramas. ask about the soap opera, pues. Yes, so properous. Okay, teacher, my first question. Did you work in another place? When? When? 
Sim. Uh... Um, on weekend. Did you work in another place on weekend? On weekend. Ajá. ¿A quién le preguntamos, Luis? Ok, teacher. I see Joanna. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> she says, she says, uh, uh, me no, me no, me no, me no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Repeat the question. Okay. Do you work in another place on weekend? No, I didn't. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Joanna. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the question is. Did you arrive on time at the training last week? And I'm going to ask Edwin Mauricio. Edwin Mauricio. Did you arrive on time at the training last week? No, I didn't. Okay, Luis Mauricio, ask a question to somebody else. Uh, to Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Hello. What is the question? The question is, did you have some training last month? Uh, yes, I did. Okay, thank you. Okay, nice. Now, Claudia Lorena, you ask the question. <laughs> Claudia Lorena, Claudia Carolina. <laughs> Claudia Carolina. And you choose the big team. My big teams. Uh... José, José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Tell me, Claudia. Uh, did you travel for a job last month? Mm, no, I didn't. Okay, very good. Choose a victim, teacher. Yes. Mm, Nubia Sudaima. <laughs> okay. Ask okay. a question to Nubia. Did you eat pizza at lunch? Yes, I did. Oh. <laughs> okay. A ver, a ver. Nubia, ask the question to somebody. Uh, Luis Mauricio, did you go to the bookie concert last Friday? I am Mauricio. <laughs> you like the bookie? I don't remember because. Uh... <laughs> I have a headache. <laughs> uh -huh. That means that you went to yes, the I concert. <laughs> 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 ah, no. Yes. <laughs> too short time ago to forget if you went or not. Yes. Hi, <laughs> Luis Mauricio. You are a victim again. Okay. My Ask big... Oscar. Okay. Oscar Mauricio. <laughs> did you drink tequila yesterday <laughs> no yesterday I no. know yesterday no but um, <laughs> the last week <laughs> sabadito 
Sabadito. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I did. Yesterday, no. Yesterday, no. Saturday, yes. Okay, Oscar, ask a question to somebody else. Uh, do you like. Uh, bueno, aquí lo voy a hacer, pero vamos a ver aquí a quién agarro. Hmm. Alguien que no. Yes. Anubia. Vaya, Nubia. Again. <laughs> Nubia. Nubia. Would you like Nubia? Um, you can open on your pregunta. Would you like Nubia? Eh, frozen de vainilla chocolate y caramel. Mm, good combination. Yes, I did. Okay. Nubia, choose the last victim. Um, Rosa Hilda. Mm -hmm. Did you eat pancake this morning? No, I didn't. Okay, very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. There is no time. There is no time. Vaya. Y nadie le pregunta a Jonathan. Pregúntenle a Jonathan la última. ¿Quién acaba de responder? Me teacher. I asked Jonathan. Did you attend classes last Monday? Te perdí. Ah, no está. Jonathan. No, I did. Ok, thank you. Vaya, hoy. No, I didn't, perdón. No, I, you didn't. Díganme present antes de que se me terminen de fugar porque veo que van saliéndose todos. <coughs> que van a desapareciendo, en serio. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elvin. No está Elvin. Grace Michelle. Joana. Present teacher. Jonathan. Present. Mr. Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Margarita. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Beatriz. Vaya, Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Le toca quedarse. <coughs> Mañana sure. Nubia y el miércoles Rosa Hilda. Ok. I go okay, home. teacher. Bye, teacher. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. bye, bye. bye, bye. Take care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you. <laughs> hey. Hey, teacher. A ver, do you have any questions, Luis Mauricio? About the model? Uh -huh. about, the oh, about, the, uh, about the weather. <laughs> about the weather. What's the weather like in yes. uh, in Aguachapan? It's a uh, very very hot. <clears throat> yes, but it's raining, but uh, but it's hot. No, no. Uh, don't rain in a. Uh, uh, a love is only 
a little a break. little yes ah that's why mm -hmm. that's why well but even here it has not been raining a lot but you know that the temperature has lowered mm -hmm. and in here no it's not low uh-huh the but in another another in other places, places yes yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, because here the temperature has lowered. Mm -hmm. it's yes. Not, it's not as it used to be last week. I remember last week it was terrible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really mm -hmm. hot. But yes. this week, no, the temperature has. It's has, lower. Has lowered a little bit. It's a little cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's much better. Probably tomorrow, lower. In, in here will be lower than today yeah mm -hmm. could be could yeah. be could be tell yes, me did you finish the platform yes teacher only only this only 30 30 uh, homework <laughs> all, all the homework missing the quiz or no uh, yes, but I try to to finish tomorrow because I have <laughs> I fall asleep. <laughs> tomorrow is your day off. Yes, tomorrow ah. is my day off. Perfect. You can do it tomorrow. Okay. Yes. yes. Uh huh. Yeah, because I'm checking. So wait. Yes. Solo esa tarea me falta la trece. La 13. ¿Y por qué? Uh -huh. <ríe> la estaba haciendo, pero eh, me traumé ya. La dejé así a medias. <ríe> Porque le cambiaba, le cambiaba forma, le ponía otra cosa. Y, y de igual manera, no. Pero yo creo que en algo, en algo estoy fallando, pero no sé en qué. Mm. Ah, estoy viendo que a varios ya van más o menos. Uh -huh encaminaditos sí Adrián everything so you missing only one mm -hmm. ah that's good you made the final exam too yes yes okay uh huh yeah it's true only only this only this thirteen <laughs> Nice because you you are almost almost free, right? Yes. Practically. Oh. <laughs> almost. Uh huh. Almost free, yes, for one assignment. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh huh. That's why you have eighty in that one. Mm -hmm. Because you're still missing the whole exercise. Mm -hmm. ah, but that's nice. Nice, nice. Tell me, yes. Luis, have you been watching the videos? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel about the videos? Sorry, I don't. How do you feel about the videos from the book? Feel. Ah, yes. <laughs> okay, teacher. Yes. I see it. Eh, but uh, a veces lo veo completo, a veces no. <laughs> Sincerely. <laughs> sí, depending on, on the video. On, okay. Mande? Depending on the video? Yes, because uh, the video and the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I work in another another platform and mm -hmm. the work in physical work <laughs> exactly exactly that's yeah. a lot to do of course mm -hmm. yes yeah but whenever you have the chance to do it watch watch them they are very very useful mm -hmm. they will help you a lot Yes, teacher. 
It's a very in, interesting videos. Exactly. exactly. Very, very, very important. And mm -hmm. another, another uh, suggestion. A part of watching the videos? Well, you can do some exercises online for mm -hmm. to practice the structure, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because okay. I, I don't have a, a many time in the class. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. oh, because you're very busy. Yes. You're very busy, that's true. Mm -hmm. But whenever you want to to practice, you can take the time, right? Yes. yes. So you go check and and do the extra. Okay. Mm -hmm. Extra time to practice. Yes, right. mm -hmm. yes. Because at the end, uh, there are some exercises. Well, most of them are videos, right? For you to mm -hmm. practice listening at the end of the first page. So mm -hmm. you can practice listening. You can practice in some mode. He said most of them are, are listening, right? They are videos. But if you want to practice, for example, a reading, sometimes you will find readings there. Yes. Uh, uh, some some videos uh when when i watch tiktok mm -hmm. uh, casi siempre eh, veo videos de, de inglés con letra ah, okay okay with the lyrics because practice the the another forms another eh, create the, the 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 question the answer in another forms. Uh -huh, exactly. And remember that the idea is that you practice all, right? Mm -hmm. That you mm -hmm. practice listening, speaking, Speak. reading, mm -hmm. writing, structure. So yeah. everything, everything should be together. Mm -hmm. Everything should go together there. And that's why we make you practice everything. Yes. Because at exactly. the end, at the end, you have uh, a lot of things to do, right? Mm -hmm. That between mm -hmm. those things that you have to do, you can choose yes, the ones that you that you. Yes. Another another form with uh, a night practice is when when call a Rosie or another <clears throat> another partner and says. Uh, Rosy, I need a, I need a, a your help and another another question or another uh, things about about the the work. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. And the thing is that the most you practice, the most you learn. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. most you practice, the most you learn. And yes. It depends on how much you want to you want to be able to communicate. Yes. So you can yes. the right the right. <laughs> yes, yes, teacher. The so, English is uh, uh, it's a little complex. Yes. English yes. is a little complex, but when you dedicate to that. Mm -hmm. You can find that you will do lots of things. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> but it's a matter of dedication. Mm -hmm. Yes. With dedication, uh, 80% or, uh, or 100% mm -hmm. ooh, is helping. It's helping for for me and another people, but really. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. But uh, I work in Spanish <laughs> and I think I'm English. <laughs> How many people do you meet 
in your workplace that speak English? Uh, nobody. Nobody. Only, only in another places because Rosie is in Sonsonate. Uh -huh. Carolina Vigail too in Sonsonate. And in here at Huachapan, I don't have a, another people. <laughs> I see. When I work in the subway, mm -hmm. in this place, I, I practice very much. Exactly, because, because of all the people, right? Uh -huh. The people that went to the place to buy or to eat something. Yes, uh huh. Yes. yes. And, uh, and I very, uh, and the people says, you are a, a United States citizen? And no, <laughs> I'm here in Salvador. <laughs> I'm from El Salvador. Oh, really? Oh really? <laughs> yes, <laughs> but uh, but uh, but I speak uh, with a uh, uh, very much people. And I imagine that they were very excited, right, to hear somebody who could speak their language. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because sometimes it's very difficult to find somebody who really understands what they say. Yes, that's right. But that's uh, it. And the and the another people. Uh, when when the Mormons uh -huh. <laughs> with the Mormons I practice <laughs> when I see in the in the street or in other places I speak in English with with here with his uh -huh. people because I I see and I listen they speak English <laughs> mm -hmm. and say hello hello <laughs> You pay attention. Yes. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> Vaya, pues Luis, lo dejo para que vaya a descansar. Perfect. And continue practicing, right? Okay. Continue practicing. Yes. And yes. see you. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, Monday. <laughs> Monday. Monday, we will be yes. on vacation. Yes, on vacation. vacation. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, nice have a nice, <laughs> have a nice night, okay. and enjoy your day off tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. I see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.